Well, I've had a quick stop off at Wells, the uh, harbour area. Nice down here. Very, very, you know, typical um, North Norfolk uh, coastal resort, really. Well hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in particular this is a talk tutorial and uh, on a recent trip to the North Norfolk coast um, I visited the lovely um, town of Wells next to sea and uh, this picture of the old granary um, really did take my eye and um, so what I'd like you to do is to um, watch this video, which is, as I say, my explanation as to why uh, and how I painted it. And this coming Friday, 6 p.m. UK time, uh, I will be uploading the video on my YouTube channel, which is the complete demonstration from start to finish. Anyway, let me hone in a little close closer and uh, give you a bit of a taster of what's to come this coming Friday. Well there you have it, I've, uh, as I say I've honed in a little bit closer um, so that we can see the complete um, painting um, in um, a, a closer up image. Um, I like the, the harbour of Wells um, and particularly as it goes away into some distant buildings and then of course the um, uh, well the estuary really I suppose where where the water um, comes in and it was quite a low tide as you can see we've got some boats moored along the uh, uh, quay that are fairly low down but obviously as the tide rises they then come up to um, a higher uh, level but I love the old granary um, it is now apartments that you can hire or purchase um, and uh, um, but obviously um, um, it does make a lovely scene. And what I liked about this, the sunlight when I was there actually came from behind those buildings. So I wanted to get the, the effect that the light was coming from behind those buildings so that we've got another building out of picture uh, shadowing that, but we've got a lovely light area in the foreground. We've also got the corner of the, the side of that building that is in sunlight, um, which I thought worked quite well, and we can then see the roof in sunlight. Um, and also we've got a lovely casting shadow on this dark um, gantry sort of building that I would presume um, came out just over the quay where uh, in the day when it was being used, they could winch up uh, the grain um, into the uh, storage area. So that is uh, the scene itself. Now when I started to paint, uh, I looked at it and I thought, there's so much going on, I don't need a sky that's very interesting. So, and yet I want it's quite a large area. So what I did, I damped the paper completely with a brush, but I went round the uh, building, all around all of the buildings, down as far as the distance. So that was damped uh, quite thoroughly. Um, then I used um, Windsor Blue. Uh, I think that was the green shade. Um, but I've used Windsor Blue and put in some of the nice uh, dark uh, sky, uh, the blue sky, then, so leaving plenty of white paper, then I to that winter I added a touch of Indian red and I got this lovely, lovely purpley grey mix and then I added a little denser mix in the end just to pick up one or two darker areas and notice how the clouds are quite large in the distance and then as you come down into the a middle distance and four and um, and and far distance area, um, uh, they're very very small. So that area there that's nearer to us, it's not the distance, it's um, the clouds that are nearer to us. But of course, as you go away, you get uh, smaller uh, clouds 
that um, appear smaller anyway as they go away into the distance. Um, then uh, I allowed that to dry I think. Then I washed in the, the light red colour onto the building. Um, I put in um, the, the light red onto the key side. Uh, this was more stone and that's more sort of a, tar, a brick sort of um, uh, colour. Uh, or well, that's how I've depicted it anyway. And um, then once I'd washed all the colours in, I put in a little bit of uh, uh, colour onto the roof areas of the moored up um, uh, vessels. Um, but other than that, they're pretty much white really. So um, that was painted quite, quite uh, simply. I also put in a few boats of varying colours but I like this one it did have a red roof and I think there was a blue roof at the background and I put some little impressions of colour in the distance a little bit of yellow there and um, there was fishing um, um, actually there are lobster net um, pots there which you know had I drawn them in 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 their specific state in a fine detail then that would have looked very very uh, out of keeping with the rest of the painting that I wanted to paint in um, very loosely. I didn't want to put in windows completely um, rectangular shapes, the boats with all their little um, detailing that goes on uh, and of course then you start putting in any um, brickwork or stonework jointing and everything so I decided to I left it white to start then I put in a little raw sienna with a blue um, probably cobalt to give a greeny grey sort of hint a little bit of red also in there and uh, then I got a small rigger and just done one or two markings given an impression that there's something there you know that anybody that knows that area would almost certainly know that they were lobster pots anyone that doesn't it doesn't attract the eye so you're not really concerned what they are you know you could call them boxes you could call them whatever you like really uh, and that was the idea of painting them like that then obviously shadows were laid in so and the shadows uh, I mean that was put in quite dark but lighter on the roof, that uh, uh, lovely area of building there. Uh, and of course that's up on two supports. Uh, then I put in the a little jetty area there, portal uh, in, uh, in a nice dark brown. A um, little bit of detailing along there with the ropes hanging down for the um, moor, mooring lines. And obviously you have got some um, a little chimney work and another uh, Bit, uh, part of the building sitting right on the top and then the windows any little bits of detail like the the the, um, the masks were just flicked in I tried to keep everything as simple as possible then come came the shadow now I elected to put as I say the shadow right the way over the building across the foreground uh, there and of course the shadow from that building and there is another building that casts other shadows there then I put shadow over part of the uh, the boats that are moored up because they're low enough to be in a little bit of shade but high enough to show the roof and the left hand sides um, and that gives a nice contrast and the shadow went all the way around the quay I put in shadow on those roofs areas see that weaker shadow there is there's something out in the background just casting a weak shadow originally I left that white but it really it really stood sharp against everything else and uh, I looked at it I thought that could do with knocking back now I didn't want to make it too dark like these so I've just washed a weak shadow over part of the front and leaving a small area of white um, uh, showing um, and that all gives that little sense of atmosphere really and then finally the figures were put in because they were put in uh, after the shadows had gone in 
uh, they are obviously in shadow so I could just put them in dark images I had to be careful of the sizes of the figures relating to the building and of course the boats uh, and there is a sign there it's I've made it red I'm not sure whether it was red I'll put in one or two little lines on the paving um, and of course shadow work for the boats because the sun is coming across from the right hand side so we've got shadow work there and of course the water now the water color actually is um is a blue and a and raw sienna i think i used uh windsor blue with a touch of raw sienna maybe even had a little bit of brown in there because it looks a bit gray then as i've come forward i've added more raw sienna and a bit more blue to give me sort of like a, a greeny uh, gray effect I didn't want a reflection of the sky because you know I looked and I thought well it doesn't really reflect the sky today um, so um, um, because it was very low you know and it was it's moving water so quite often that's quite murky moving water it's not like uh, a still or even a a stream that's um, that's uh, well filtered um, so um, that was about it really a few birds in the sky I decided to put plenty of goals uh, they were uh, I elected to put those in at, uh, at the right sort of positions really a group in the distance a few there uh, I wanted it to all remain around and I mean the focal point probably is that you know is that um, a part of the building there because it stands out clearly against the light background so that's the basic principle of um, how that was painted well there you have it I hope you've enjoyed that little insight into how I painted this particular um, subject lovely little subject um, I think it came off quite well uh, so I hope you enjoy the video that'll be this Friday this coming Friday 6 p.m. UK time it will be uploaded obviously you can watch it then uh, but of course you can watch it at any time after that point so thank you very much for watching and we'll see you all again this coming friday bye for now Well, I've had a quick stop off at Wells, the uh, harbour area.